Hi, my name is Rajiv Kumar. I'm the Product Marketing Director for our Ultra Low Power Products at AMD. Welcome to Mobile World Congress 2013. This is by Compal, which is one of our ODM partners in Taiwan. What we're showing here is a 13.3 inch hybrid system. Uh, it's running full Windows 8 Pro, so you get a full Microsoft experience on this particular tablet. And this is attaching to a intelligent base. Within this base, not only do you have traditional items like a keyboard, storage, extra I.O. and battery, but you also have a discrete AMD graphics card. So when the tablet is plugged into the base, you not only can take advantage of the discrete graphics card, but you also get a boost in your CPU frequency. So you convert from a tablet to a full notebook type of experience. You also have wide gig wireless in the base station, so you can connect to the tablet in undock mode. Can you tell me about the processor? The processor is the AMD Tomash processor, which we announced recently in, at CES. It's a quad-core SoC, the first quad-core x86 SoC out on the market. Taking a closer look at the hardware on this uh, Compel tablet, you can see here that we have the PSU attached to the active dock, and there is a kind of just like a depression, like a little cute little way that this actually docks it. I like that. There's full speakers out here, we have to do a full keyboard, as well as a very large trackpad. You can see here at the front, we do have a keyboard lock, as well as a USB 2.0. If we go around to the other side, you can see that we have a, another variety of ports. There is full HDMI, two USB 2.0s, a full-size card reader, headphone jacks, and that looks to be like some sort of display port. Uh, one of the more interesting features of this uh, hybrid tablet is that because this is on the uh, the, the quad core Tomash, you can see that there is the fan integrated up here at the top. That's the first time I've seen that kind of design. It's very sexy. I'm looking forward to see that come to market if it ever does. And around here we have a couple more. It's very interesting. So that's been a closer look at the hardware on this uh, AMD hybrid.